Hey guys, how's it going? This is David from Common RDW here, and welcome to another interview at Anime Magic 2023. I'm here with Alejandro Saab. Hi. Saab. How's it going? Yeah, you got it. Saab. It. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Uh, it's been going pretty well. It's Friday, the beginning of the con weekend, and yeah. we're having some, we're having a little, a little, con, a little talky talk here. Yeah, a little yeah. talky talk. Yeah. Um, so definitely, uh, like I said, great to be talking to you here. And uh, I want to start off here because I actually talked to Zeno uh, before yeah. earlier today. You, you chuckled. I think you have like some history there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love Zeno. Zeno. Yeah. I mean, Zeno suck. No, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, he is actually uh, the voice of Go in Pokemon Journeys. Right. And you are the voice of Leon I in am. Pokemon Journeys. Mm -hmm. um, I asked him a similar question, but I want to ask you: um, How is it that you? How does it feel voicing the character that uh, basically had the most climactic? battle in pokemon history to where ash became how did it feel to hold that l yeah no, but how yeah how was that you know uh when uh, when, when your when your brother text messages you and mm -hmm. it's like you're a disgrace to the family uh i think it puts everything into perspective uh <laughs> no How'd but you lose? yeah mm -hmm. that literally what he texted mm -hmm. me uh but in actuality it's uh it's crazy because i've been a fan of pokemon since i was like three and i used to dress up as ash like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. I had a little plushie Good of cosplay. Fat Pikachu. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, it was crazy because I have a picture of it and I posted it online, being like, "Yeah, look, I dressed up as Ash, and then I dressed up as Leon right as he loses." Mm -hmm. uh, but it's yeah, the it's whole, surreal. Like, cape and everything. Yeah, whole... I did. I did yeah. in the booth in the recording it's a booth. Dope outfit. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing I wasn't rocking was the the gloves. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it was really cool um, and surreal because. I mean, when I was a kid, I wasn't like, yeah, I'm going to be Leon. Like, he didn't even exist. He yeah. wasn't even a concept. But uh, for the character, it was just super cool because I was like, you know, like, what a way to, if this is the only time I ever get to be in Pokemon, what a way to be in Pokemon. To you be know? like the climactic, like, final, though, canonically, before Ash, the strongest character in the yeah. Pokemon universe. Yeah. It, it, so. It's just wild that uh, I was there for the beginning as a kid, as a fan, mm -hmm. and then I got to be there for the end as an actor and be in mm -hmm. part of Ash's journey. Did so. you cry in the booth? Uh, I made Lisa, the, the voice, uh, the director cry. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I was getting teary, teary eyed. I, I definitely begged them. I was like, so you guys are adding like the theme song, right? You got like every week. Yeah. I was like, hey, so when that fight happens, it's, it's going to catch them all, right? Like, it's like, you know, got to mm -hmm. catch him. And they're like, we'll see. We'll see every week. And I was like, you message them, right? <laughs> Every week. We have the license. <laughs> <laughs> Please, what's stopping you? But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, got on ESPN. It was like the talk of the entire <laughs> world oh, yeah. for like a couple days. So that's really awesome <laughs> that you got to have the honor to do that. Yeah. So that's yeah. really awesome. Um, so... Uh, on your IMDb page, mm -hmm. shows you've done over at least like a thousand, uh, not a thousand, a thousand? At least a thousand of those. This is news to <laughs> me. At least three hundred or so. Yeah, and yeah, you've been yeah. doing it for a while. Um, so one thing I want to know for at least like advice that you can give uh, people who are starting off in voice acting and have a passion for it that aren't on mm -hmm. this level, um, like what would your personal advice be to a novice who's looking to get their first acting gig and how do they get more after that? Got it. You drop out of college. Uh, no, in, in all seriousness. He's partially serious. Uh, actually. Uh, <laughs> I did drop out. That, that yeah. was what I did. But that was for other mm -hmm. different reasons. Uh, honestly, acting, because I, I feel like everybody, when they think of voiceover, uh, it's impressions. Like, everybody thinks it's impressions. Uh, I definitely feel like acting, and I feel like any voice actor will tell you, it's the important thing is acting, the voice will come later. Because uh, you're not just straight up just talking, and you're like yeah. doing a whole bunch of motions when you're doing the voice yeah. acting. Yeah. yeah, but enough motions where it doesn't get picked up on the mic. Like, yeah. you know, like, like mm -hmm. you're not, you don't want that. Um, but uh, yeah, improv is a, uh, helped me a lot. Um, and cell phones, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but improv, uh, getting used to the sound of your own voice, like yeah. listening back, because uh, if you're performing on stage or if you're, you know, just doing a play or doing commercials like on camera stuff you don't hear yourself yeah. yeah but um with voiceover it's very specific because uh what i was taught was that uh when you hear your own voice it's actually lower because of the vibrations and you know mm. like the sound of mm -hmm. your voice vibrates in your skull so it makes it slightly lower and when you hear yourself back you're like oh that's weird for like the very first time yeah you know, like, that's I, that's not what i thought i sounded like um so i would definitely say get used to the sound of your own voice read out loud uh Acting classes are the most important thing. Improv is super helpful, especially if you want to do like cartoons. Um, and yeah, yeah, just have fun with it. 
and try it out. Because some people like the idea of a thing, mm -hmm. but they don't actually try it out. They're just like, I'm in. And I was like, cool, but did you try it? What? You know, like, like you got to test like drive it. Comics or something. Yeah, so like just be, yeah. try it out. See if you like it. And if you like it, then great. That's when you go forward. If you don't like it, then it's like, why are you going to force yourself to do something you mm -hmm. don't like? I mean, obviously to pay bills, but like, yeah. you know, if it's the, the passion, you know? exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, and then you're a voice actor. You've been doing, you're officially in the industry doing that type of thing, but also mm -hmm. um, doing some research on you. You're a VTuber, my guy? I, I, I and am you a have, VTuber. And you have quite a following. <laughs> yeah. in there. Like, yeah. yeah. I, so uh, tell me a little bit about that, that story of how you became a VTuber. Well, I mean, honestly, it started off as a joke because originally I was going to make a VTuber that was like uh, a Muppet version of a character I voiced. Yeah. I wanted a Kermit the Frog and I was like, yeah, I'll pull it out and it'll be a gag and I'll just pull mm -hmm. out a Kermit the Frog impression. And just be like, oh, hey, guys, how's it going? I mean, like, that was going to be the joke. It's really good. Uh, and then uh, a friend of mine, she uh, uh, goes by Iron Mouse, you know, this small VTuber. Oh, yeah. She she hit me up, and she's like, oh, my God, you should totally be a VTuber. And I was like, uh, well, I don't know if I really want to do it. And she insisted that I try it. And, uh, and I tried it out, and I was like, okay, well, I have a design idea. You're like, yeah, ah. I've got, like, a thing that maybe could be cool. Uh -huh. uh, and worst case scenario, I have a, a mascot for my cover band. So, mm. and I tried it out, and uh, it was inspired because of like Mega Man and Cave Story and all these different really dope games. design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really excited and happy with the design, and uh, the name is Sayu, Sayu mm -hmm. VTuber, and it's like the first two letters of Cyborg and the last two letters of Sayu because it's a Cyborg Sayu, and I took the joke. That is now not really a joke. It's more serious. Mm -hmm. Where uh, robots are going to take over voiceover. Oh, uh, God. oh. <laughs> it was a joke, mm, and I'm like, yeah. ah, the irony. <laughs> um, but but that was the whole point. It's yeah. Sayu because cyborg Sayu. Mm -hmm. So um, and it kind of just like like at first it was just for fun and it, and it was gags, and then eventually like because I had been doing content creation before that for yeah. like a decade like on on the webcam before yeah, yeah yeah and it went well mm -hmm. like uh you know i went under kagi films and uh it garnered like 850k subs or whatever yeah. and i was like yeah but i wasn't having fun um but with the sayu thing it like blew up way faster than that ever did and it, it just kind of like everything that i had worked on for so long was just coming together like people with the music, they were like, oh my God, you do this. And they're like, oh my God, you're a voice actor. Oh my God, you do this. And they like, oh my God, you're funny. And so it all just kind of intertwined and then. And it was all, um, it all started coming together because if it was like the, your voice on this mm -hmm. um, VTuber model, yeah. basically. Yeah. And it's like, do you feel like well, um, because of the VTuber model, it seems like, well, how about this? Um, mm -hmm. People get into VTubing specifically for different reasons. Like yeah. for example, Iron Mouse. Um, is a VTuber because like they can't really sure. be out and do a whole bunch of other stuff. But you're a v you got into VTubing because of influence of a friend. Yeah. But now you're like, okay, I'm full on because um, it's opened up all these opportunities. But also, I'm yep. a voice actor, therefore it makes sense. Yeah. Way, Honestly, yeah. it's the the reason I kept going with VTubing because it was just fun. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it, for me. Like I, I always get like a weird gut feeling about something. Like I'm like, yeah, this is this feels right. So I just kept pursuing it. And with VTubing, sometimes it's just as simple as, to anyone who has ever done content creating, especially with an, with, on camera, mm -hmm. they know that they need lighting, yeah. you know, good lighting. And sometimes that lighting after a few hours, it just burns your eyes and you just get tired way faster. With VTubing, I don't have to worry about that. I can just be in the dark with a phone on my face yeah. and I'm like, great, I can play for hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, honestly, it yeah, was well, a blend that's, of that's that like and just having fun. The pros of the, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then lastly, the next thing I want to get into here, uh, you are currently voicing uh, two characters in the Hoyoverse. Two characters in the Yes, you yes. are correct. You are voicing, I'm going to butcher this, Sino. You got it. And <sighs> say it. Jing. Uh huh. One. You are so close. I mean, that's probably more Jing accurate to, to the actual but yes, Chinese. One, Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan, okay. Uh, a Genshin character and a Honkai Star Wars character. That is correct. Uh, so, how's that been uh, being in that space as those characters? Insanity. So yeah. uh, I'm glad the, the fan bases of, on both ends have welcomed me with mm -hmm. open arms. Uh, but it's... What's the, really quick, what's the pull rate on those characters? Like, what, what star ranking are they? Oh, they're both five. Okay. They're both five stars. I'm two five star characters. Yeah, that's whole, right. Yeah. <laughs> who can? Who else could say that, huh? Uh, Damon Mills. <laughs> that's 
<laughs> he could say that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how's that been in the being in there? Super cool. Uh, it's really funny because uh, both times I didn't think I was voicing the characters. Because uh, for Sino, I had auditioned last like May, and I didn't hear anything until two weeks before they announced me, and that's unheard of. Usually, like with these characters, they record and it's uh, they go out the door in like a month and a half, mm -hmm. you know. But they announce you like a month and after. Not even giving you the chance to break an NDA. Well, like, well, for me, yeah. yeah, for me, it was so funny because everybody, all my friends, were like, "How come you didn't tell me? How come you didn't tell me?" I'm like, "Tell you? I didn't know. <laughs> I, didn't even know. I didn't know anything." Yeah. Literally, they call me up uh, the th the second week of August, mm -hmm. and they're like, hey, uh, buddy, so we got a callback for you. And I was like, okay, I, it's August. We were, did this in May. I thought you would have recorded already. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, we, we, uh, we, we want you to read it for it again. And I was like, okay. And I do it. And that was the longest week of my life waiting. Uh, the next Friday, they're like, hey, so your entire next two weeks belong to us. And I was like, okay. When I saw that email, I cried. Yeah. Because uh, I'm a before being in Genshin or Honkai, I was a big fan of Genshin, and mm -hmm. I played it almost every day. We're gonna and segue really quick into my last question. That'll go yeah, into yeah, yeah. that. How much money have you put into Genshin? <laughs> yes. Just Genshin? Oh no! <laughs> it's a, is it a? It's a four-figure number. Ooh, you're you're funny. Damn. You're funny. Only four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You're funny. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip that one. How the f do you nearly spend two K dollars? Sylvie. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Um Yes. But yeah, uh -huh. no, I, I was a big fan of Genshin mm -hmm. and I um I cried the morning I found out. Because they literally emailed me in the morning ready to schedule me for the entirety, like it was four hour days every day for like mm -hmm. two weeks. And then literally when I finished recording, they announced that I was voicing the character and I was like, oh. With Honkai Star Rail, it was another one of those situations where I auditioned, I had a callback and I didn't hear for months. And then I go in and they're like, all right, uh, we're finally working on the game, like we're gonna do it. It's like, cool, what do you got? And I recently listened to the audition and it was very different. Uh, it was a lot lighter and what I do in the game is, is something like this. Time for the master stroke. And it's very in my lower range and like uh, butter. <laughs> uh -huh. Um and it's it's a nice contrast uh to Sino, but at the same time it's a lot of people have pointed out the similarities between the two. Mm -hmm. Where they're both generals, they're both white haired, and they both happen to be lightning users. I did not catch the lightning user part. So Hoyo's until... kinda like got you typecasted. Uh, typecasted, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the crazy part is I ended up, uh, I, I voice Akihiko for Persona 3 Reload, or I'm going to be, mm -hmm. and he is technically also a white-haired lightning user. Yeah. And uh, he's a senpai, so, so it's kind of like a general. And I was like, he just keeps getting typecast. And I was like, bro, he was before the first two. Mm -hmm. So So being already into Hoyoverse games, yeah. um, I know like Zenless Zone Zero is coming yeah, out. Yeah, I'm Whenever excited. that's coming out. But I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, would you say like already being in two, you're kind of like, there's a good chance you could be in that one, but oh. like, you, you don't know. You don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. If I'm in it, there's no way, but uh -huh. it would be pretty cool. you get cool. another lightning character. <laughs> so, yeah. mm -hmm. No, I don't even know. The thing is, that game is so mysterious to me because I don't know any of the info. I don't even know if there's yeah, a rarity I'm system. Like, I'm waiting. I'm yeah, waiting I'm, I'm trying to figure out how it even... I, I got to play it at a different convention, like test it out, mm -hmm. and I was like, whoa, this is... I feel like it'll be the more combat heavy of the all aesthetic three. personally I, I like yeah yeah i really dig it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah but uh i have no idea i mean i would welcome it with open yes. arms like why why would i say no to work yeah you know but uh to be in the other hoyo game absolutely sure. i would love to yeah uh i think that's all we have time for well, right now amazing sure. talking to you man yeah it's a pleasure. great talk uh vtuber hoyo verse typecasted <laughs> by now and then um just all around great dude oh so, well, thank you i appreciate it i'm here with alejandro here at anime magic I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.